We haven't talked a lot about pressing, which is a huge part of tailoring. So you are going to need a ham for your pressing because you don't want to press out any of the work that you've put in, particularly for your pad stitching. So I want to make sure, I want to press this all, I want to press all my pieces flat before I sew them together. So I'm going to give this a good steam. And again, I'm shaping it around. So I've shaped it around, so I'm really maintaining that nice roll that I've gotten from my pad stitching. And then the rest I can go ahead and press flat. So with the pieces pressed and ready to go, so I've pressed my front again using my ham on my pad stitching so that I can preserve the roll that I have here. The rest I've pressed flat, so everything's lying nice and flat. I've pressed both fronts, the right and the left, and I've pressed the back. So now I'm going to put in my shoulder seams, which means at this point this jacket will now move from hanging on a pan hanger to hanging on a coat hanger. So very important here in sewing the shoulder seams is to make sure that you line up your notches. And again, notches are everything. Um, particularly when you're working with fabrics that are really um, kind of malleable, like wool is. Hopefully you've been able to see how soft and smushy wool really will let you um, tell it what to do. Um, so I've put in my shoulder seam, and the next thing I want to do now is to score back my uh, canvas and my tape carefully. Yeah, be very careful not to cut the seam allowance off, but I want to get pretty close in to the seam allowance. If you find that you have to cut your tape off that where you sewed it, that's going to be fine. So I'm going to do this on both sides of the seam. Again, I'm scoring it back pretty close, probably within almost an eighth of an inch to my seam. I'm going to bump into that there, okay, and then I'm going to take it, take the seam, and press it open flat. I'm going to now do the same thing on, obviously, the other shoulder and my vertical seams, so my side seams. Once I have my uh, seams together, um, this is a good time to stop and to try the jacket on your dress form. If you have a model, you can put it on your model. If you're making it for yourself, you can try it on yourself. But this is a really good time. This is when the tailor would leave the jacket um, open. At this point, um, the next step I'm doing, they would, they would stop before this next step that we're going to do because they would have the client come in and do the uh, soft try-on to make sure that the jacket is fitting and draping after all this manipulation that it's maintained the integrity of the fabric. So we saw a little bit of that in our movie um, where they stop and they try the jacket on. The next step is going to be to tack your seam allowance down on your side seam. So for people with the, with the princess seams, you will do this also down your front seam to just re, reinforce that canvas that you've only tacked on. Now you're going to make it permanent. And really all you're going to do in tacking your seam allowance down, this will help it not flop around when it gets worn. And we're only going to do it on the side seams, or if you have a princess jacket, you'll do it down your front princess seam and your side seam. And all you're going to do is cross stitch, and this is a stitch that we will also use 
um, in hemming the jacket. So I'm just picking up my canvas and then picking up the seam allowance. Picking up my canvas, canvas only, so you have to be kind of careful. Get the jacket there. And picking up my seam allowance. Okay, and I'm going to do that all the way down. So I'm going to cross stitch my seam allowance to my canvas only. So I'm only working into the seam allowance here, not into the jacket at all, just into this, the body of the jacket, into the seam allowance and into the canvas separately. Okay, so both sides, I'll do this on both sides. And um, if you have a princess line, I'll also do it down the front of the jacket on either side of your princess. The next step is to attach your under collar, which you've pad stitched, to the body of your jacket. So what I'm going to do here, zoom in just a little bit, is I'm going to line up the center seam of my under collar with the back seam in my case. If not, hopefully you have a notch here if you don't have a seam. You have to have a notch in the center back. If you don't, go back, lay your pattern down, and put your notch in. So I'm going to line up these seams. Exact, exact. And now what I'm going to do, you should have notches in your collar. You should have a notch, which represents the shoulder. And you should have a notch, which represents where the end of the under collar stops, where you stop sewing so that this becomes the rest of my lapel. Okay, so I'm going to take my under collar, I'm going to match it up with that notch, and pin. So that's matched up. My seam for my shoulder is matched up with the notch in my under collar. And the last is to match up my notches of my under collar and the body of my jacket. And that, again, that's where my collar lapel starts. You should see a tiny bit of fullness in here because obviously they're opposing curves. So that's where you have to ease it in. And again, that's kind of the beauty of wool is that it can be shaped easily, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew on this side so that I can watch my tape because I've been careful with my tape, so I know that that's exactly one half inch. Obviously, I'm going to pin the other side of the jacket as well. So I'm going to sew from, from my notch, where my notch in my jacket, my notch not only in my garment, but the notch in my jacket starts here. I'm going to sew from notch, notched notch, to notched notch and that'll be my under collar. I'm not going to press this quite yet. I'm going to wait until I set the upper collar to it. Okay, and that's where we're going to stop for this week. I think we're going to kick over the uh, facing, swirling, and attachment of the, uh, of the upper collar into next week, and then you can work on that over the Thanksgiving break.